know, some of the best multi-use items can be found right out in nature. This is stinging nettle. It makes great cordage for making rope. It's food and it's medicine. Don't try this at home. The way this works, it's called urtication. And you just take the plant and you whip the area that you want to get relief. Really nice size to them too. Look at that one. If you remove the stem where it attaches to the dandelion that they're actually quite good and sure enough the flower itself is actually really good. It's actually sweet which makes sense because they make dandelion wine Right next to it is some cleavers, and you can tell the cleavers because they cleave to you as you run your hand up the stem. And they'll cling to your mouth as you eat them, but if you chew it up real good, they won't cling to your throat as they go down. Don't confuse a spruce with a you, or you will be dead. That's one chickadee that just about got eight. Hey, little cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. But if I put a little baking soda in it. It foams right up. Very nice. There you go, just use the finesse method, it works even better. And these radishes are about twice as big and they grew up a lot faster. Oh yeah, here's a good one. But that's a big radish. These here are the lilac bells. They start out sort of an ivory color, almost white, and they turn dark purple. I went ahead and brought some uh, some of the kale stems from the kale I canned yesterday. Um, those stems got a lot of tough fibers in them, but there's got to be a lot of good nutrition in there, so I can't see letting them go to waste. Get the air bubbles out. And then you're likely going to have to top it back off. kind of rub them back and forth in my hands and all the seeds fall right into this. Basically just using this hat like a filter. See if I can find something to put these in. Ah, turtle shell. 
I might be able to use that for something, for a scooper, or uh, maybe even to assist with the bow drill set. I'm taking that with me. I'm going to gather up some of these small, sharp rocks. I may be able to use those as a drill bit if I need it. This basket's actually proven pretty handy. Take that crawdad that I caught. Just kind of tear him open. Now we got bait. Yeah, that's worth eating. Well, she's smoking good, so hopefully we'll uh, have some luck here. Yes! Whew! That's the first time I ever did that all primitive like. But I better not be screwing around. There they be. If that fire doesn't die down quick, I'm gonna have to pull them off there or they're gonna burn. Looks like it's already getting starting to boil. Get a little more fire under it and it definitely will. And these plants are full of little orange pumpkins, like I call them. Miniature sweet peppers, if I want to treat, trick somebody into eating one. Better wipe it off. I don't think any germs could survive in me after eating one of these, but bottoms up. <clears throat> Ooh. That's the first time I've ate a ripe tomato from this garden this year, fresh off the vine. And I'd sure like to know what those are. They were supposed to be Amish paste, but they're just a perfectly round, smooth red tomato. Nice and juicy and really sweet. You're going to need about 27 jalapeno peppers. Leave the stem on there, it gives you a little handle to hold on to. These are great. Lock and load. Just like that. The bush has alternate branching. Meaning one on one side, you come down a little bit, and there's one on the other side. Now that the video's over, I can actually get in there and pick some of these and eat them. Well, this here is chicken of the woods, but I'm actually out looking for hen of the woods, and they're two completely different mushrooms. This one is a little bit old, but huh, it's still salvageable. That uh, way somebody walks by here, I mean you could write anything on there you want, SOS, <laughs> with an arrow indicating your direction. 
that's probably a good few years old it's already starting to heal over but you can see that was wore right down to the inner wood that little maple starting to heal back over now there's probably more all the way down through here and there will probably be some fresh ones when it gets close to rutting season there's another really fresh scrape that's when he actually busted off a little branch Well, there you go, guys. That's how I cleaned my wild pig, field dressing a wild pig. So we'll just take this and stick it in a dark location, and in uh, two weeks we'll have wine that's ready to drink. Hmm, doesn't taste bad at all. So we'll get we'll get a lot of it. We won't get all of it, you know, with the amount of water I'm pouring on it. But we just want to get that extra goodness out of there. Exactly, yep, yeah, because this is what's gonna add the color and some flavoring and stuff. So. See, even though I poured that down a side of glass, this one's got a really nice head. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Man, that tastes good. But I can look right down through there and it should be nice and shiny. I guess if I wanted to, I could go ahead and take this right back down to syrup and bottle it up and then I would have nanny berry infused maple syrup. Boy, that would be good on pancakes. I'll pour the yeast in there and just let it sit. We got the river, which runs east and west. This is north, and the prevailing wind comes from the west. Give you a little bit of my perspective. Oh, deer comes out right there. Got a package in the mail from A. Thatcher, 85. He sent me some seeds. I just wanted to say thanks, Aaron, first of all. We can use this to make fire too, right? Yeah, you can use that to make fire and you can use that to make tea as well. Excellent. This is so cool. Gotta get the close-up shot here. <laughs> close-up. Raspberry wheat. Hi. Hi. Everything okay? Yeah, just okay. tying this down. Thanks for watching guys.